can't verify that. I can't issue you a certificate. But all you need to verify because the address on my passport. Your name and address. Your name and address. But my passport picture. My passport. I've got a copy of that. I'm going to try. I've got 17,000 pictures on my phone. But you just need to say that. If you just told me that, I wouldn't have had to. No, you don't need to arrest me though. Okay, then you need to provide that sort of sent to you. Yeah, but it's just got my name on it. It's got nothing else. The address is. It's just got a name and address. If it's got a name and a picture, that's fine. And we can get the ball rolling on a ticket. But obviously, if I can't do that, I will arrest you, okay? Uh, no, because you're a Muslim member of the I don't know. I can't come out and help support the flag. That's kind of funny, though. You want something else? I've got a photo ID. Only because they're recording this, I don't know. So you've got a passport, and then if your name is on that, then that's fine. It'll verify it, and I'll probably do a ticket, okay? You verify on the PM. I'm not going to give you any. No, no, I'm no, going to give you my no, name. You guys know me I, anyway. I'm not really fussed about giving you my name and getting a ticket. No, no, I know. But, but you're saying what you're saying to me now. I don't. It's not fussed about giving you my name and getting a ticket. I'm not going to give you any. I'm going to give you my name. You guys know me anyway. I'm not really fussed about giving you my name and getting a ticket. I'm not going to give you my name. You guys know me anyway. I'm not really fussed about giving you my name and getting a ticket. No, no, I know. But you're saying what you're saying to me now. I don't. It's not. It's not lawful. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm trying. I'm finding you a picture of my passport. But you can verify me by checking me out on the PNC. You guys have my details already. PNC doesn't come up with a picture, so I don't know. Well, my my address. A letter doesn't have a picture on it either. Well, that's why I need a picture of you. It's your name. So your passport, but you said that you have Hello, sir. So my colleagues here are going to talk with you and take your details, sir. So I explained to you that you weren't actually at work, so you shouldn't actually be out here breaking COVID. Can you turn yourself around and speak to them on their own? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Just swing yourself around. Yeah, okay. You can feel it's just everyone then gets privacy. My colleague said that... You, you said to her that you were part of London Assembly. Yes, I am. Hmm. Right. So what are you doing here then? What, how does that link into being here today? Well, I ask uh, the mayor, Sadiq Khan. You know, yeah. he's uh, the police and crime commissioner. So I ask him questions about what's going on in London. It's my job as a London Assembly member to scrutinise the mayor, okay. to ask him about what's going on in transport for London, to ask him questions about the Metropolitan Police. So you know, there's an operation here today. So I was observing what's what's happening. Thank you, sir. That's me. That's the okay, so in an official capacity, are you here today? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Okay, do you have proof that you're here on official capacity? So no, I don't. I don't. I don't have a letter. I'm, I'm an elected member of the London Assembly, so I don't have to, you know, write a letter for myself. No, but you, for you to be here, there has to be an official reason that you're here today. So that's why I'm asking you. And if it was official, then you have proof, paperwork, or proof that. That's so. If, if I, my Can you produce that? To me? Know, I don't see that, right? Right. Uh, no. Okay. My colleague's already asked you to, to move on from here. Has she you... hasn't asked me to move okay. on, but if you want me to move so on, move on. Get you to move on. You go back to place of residence. Right. Yeah. Not around here. Not here. You go to place of residence. If you're spotted around here again, obviously you're gonna get an FPM. We don't want that to happen. If you could just move on for us, that'd be perfect. Thank okay. you. Okay. Can I just your constable Watson? One two eight nine. One two eight nine. And you are for us, that'd be perfect. Thank you. Again, obviously you're going to get an FPM. Yeah. We, this is not around here. Not you go to a place yeah. of residence. If you're spotted around here again, obviously you're going to get an FPM. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. If you could just move on for us. So another example of how they use the same people over and over in the truth movement to get arrested or to get talked to by the police, etc, etc. So here we have Fiona Hine yet again. And David Curtin, yet again, both together. Yeah, out of all the people there, they are together, getting spoken to by the police. And you saw at the end how the policeman just says, if I see you here again, blah, blah, blah. So what they want you to think, even if you are an, an elected assembly member of London, like David Curtin, that police can just tell you to sod off and go home, basically. Okay? But like I've said... I don't believe in these guidelines and rules and I reckon that just using these actors to make you feel like they're actually being enforced it's a very clever way of doing it making you think that if you speak out you get arrested like Piers Corbyn if you go for a walk with your dog 
you get arrested. Yeah? If you go to Speaker's Corner, you get arrested. And it's always the same people over and over. And the same people filming. I mean, when was the last time you saw politicians use their phone camera and, like, phone stuff and put it on YouTube? It's... David Curtin does it all the time. Because what they're trying to do is control social media. And another thing you'll notice... All the people like, um... Resistance GB and his cronies, they all want you to come off YouTube because they know we control YouTube. The truthers control YouTube. We can expose their staged events within minutes in real time. So they want you to come off YouTube where we don't control it. They want you on all these obscure sites. Well, It's not going to work. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. Dave and Fiona both being used in a staged event, in my opinion, and probably your opinion as well, thousands of us, uh, just to make you feel like if you do go out to the park, if you go to Speaker's Corner, if you speak out about this, you're going to get arrested. You're going to get told by the police to get out of there, just like David Curtin does, and he's a politician, everyone. Anyway, peace for now.